Hey guys, my name is Zabo, and today we have Twice um, Between One and Two album. I'm excited to check this album out. Um, it's all brand new Twice songs. Just, I just, I'm excited. I'm excited. So, um, if you guys are excited, make sure you like the video, comment down below any songs from this Twice album that you enjoy, or all of them, or your favorite. You know, just let me know. Tell me how you feel about this like Twice album. Um, subscribe, hit the bell so you be notified when my videos go live. And for any extra content, check out the Patreon. Without further ado, let us just talk about what we're reacting to today. So we have the Talk That Talk choreography video, and we have the lyrics video, and then the rest of the songs, the B-sides are called Queen of Hearts, Basics, Trouble, Brave, Gone, When We Were Kids. So um, let us just dive, let's just go into it. So here you go, three, two, one, let's go. I love this song, by the way. Um, a lot of hips so far. <laughs> That was really cute. I really liked it. That was really cute. Oh, that was really cool um, to get that like, like, the, like presenting chewy sort of feel. So were they making love? I'm assuming a quick. Oh yeah, I said in the music. A row, row, row. I love that. What just happened with the arms. I like kind of like the attitude, like, ah, like, we're, we're that. I love that when one person, like, controls two sides and do the choreo. Hey, hey. And I just like that B formation at the end. So good. Really good. I really like that. Just fits the song so well. And it's just like, I can't wait to see what these lyrics are talking about. Like in my in my head or what I'm thinking is probably just talking about how we're it, we're twice, we're this like, you know, group. And thank you for like all the support. I mean, I hear L-O-V-E or maybe it's like, you're going to fall for me, basically. I don't know. But here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Mm. 
like this part of the song. Yes, sir, yes. One it one to ten. Like the little references right there. Talk that talk, L-O-E. I'm gonna pause here. I forget that this song is really short. Like it's three minutes long, but I'm it's like very it 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 is simple. Like they basically want to hear the words "I love you." They say "talk that talk, talk." Basically saying, "Tell me that you love me." It's like I have a feeling, I know, but I would I want to hear those words. It's like basically saying, you know, whoever this person is, talk talk your stuff. Tell tell them, say it. They want to hear it. They want to they want you to say those words, and I like it. Like it's just like a it's so it, I like this. You know, another way of saying basically tell me that you love me. And it's just, and I just like, you know, you know, realizing this now, I know taking this long, but there's just so many, there's so many different ways and beats and emotions of saying the words, I love you, you know, and like, like words in general, just however you say them can have such a different meaning and impact. And it's the same word, but it's however you convey it. And I just love that, like, you get so many different beats, so many different um, vocals saying this same phrase because it just is different. And I really love it. I really love this song, too. So here we go. Three, two, one, stop. <laughs> Baby Beast, yeah. The die on vocals too, yes. Talk that talk, yep. Yes. Talk that talk. But um, there you have it. There's talk that talk. Basically, hey, look, say that you love them. They just want to hear. They just want to hear those simple words. That's all you have to say. Literally, talk that talk. Talk. Say how, what's on your mind about this person. Say that you love them. That's all they want to hear. But moving on to the next song, which I think is Queen of Hearts. But here we go. Three, two, one, stop. We'll see. Queen of Hearts. Let's. Here we go. New. It'll be some. Chewy? Oh, yes, Momo, yes. You making the moves out here, Sada and Momo? I'm on, on pause here, but, you know, Queen of Hearts basically saying that, you know, they can rule over your heart, take over, you know. You know, they basically will make you fall in love with them. That's what I'm getting at, because they're the Queen of Hearts. Um, I really like this song. I really like this kind of... um. Would it be called pop rock sort of feel to the song? Like, cause it's it's not like like intense rock where it's like sounds like you know about to you know go to hell basically, but it has more of that pop feel. So I don't know if that's what you would call it as pop rock. It has that sort of like um, 
that sort of pop rock feel and, I, and it might be what that is and i really like that I, I think i enjoy i mean i enjoy you know the different types of rock that i that i've heard but i think my sound is more pop based like pop in general is my favorite like genre because i feel like i just love that sort of sound that sort of um brightness but i you know i love all types of music it's really dope. I really like I really like the song and the message. Really cool song. So you got three twins. Oh yeah, you're definitely the queen. <laughs> like all y'all are queens. Like all y'all. Right, that that little bit at the end was a shout out to the onces, basically saying that thank you for making me who I am today, which is the queen of hearts, the one that can charm everyone. Basically, like conquer the hearts of everyone. Basically. Um, I really liked it because it was just like a little nice, me like a message saying thank you for making me who I am and giving us memories together once. Like, I like that. I like that. Um, moving on to the next song. I really enjoyed that song a lot. I, I really can't wait to listen to this album over and over again. <laughs> listen to these songs more and more times. I really enjoyed this song from my first listen. So here you got three, two, one, let's go. I think the next song is basic. <laughs> that whole flow, whoa, gee, that whole flow. I swear they be letting like every one of these beat sides eat the rap part sometimes or try out our part. <laughs> I just was thinking some stuff. That just, mmm, mm, this mature sort of feel got me feeling some ways. Um, it makes me feel happy that they get to kind of let loose a little bit but i'm like oh, okay twice yes yes go let loose a little bit talk you know talk some stuff you know let loose a little bit <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy that they get to kind of you know let you because if you read these little baby later i'll leave it for you my location like mm -hmm. <laughs> you know <laughs> just gonna let y'all interpret what that means because <laughs> I like the song though, especially like the Geo and Mina part where it's like, -na 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 -na. like that was so quick and so like just with it just it just fits so well. And I was not expecting that. It's like basically, I feel like the song is basically saying like, you know, trying to go too fast. I don't know about the like. I love that part because just like saying like, nah, you know what? Nah, 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 don't want to do this. I'm just gonna go home, take off my makeup, go to sleep. Bye. Like you know, like okay, bye. Like you know, like you 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 thought. <laughs> uh, I like it though. I like the song. Here we got three, two, one, stuff. I like that song a lot. I really like it. So basically, what I'm getting from is like basically like you just don't want to go too fast. You want to start from the start, the basics. You know, basically like hello, my name is Zaylin, and you know the other person. Like you just want to start from the start, not like that. I know, awkward horrible but you you know what i mean you want to start from the start you know you want to start from the beginning you don't want you know to be quick too quick in so quickly or have nothing because you're trying to go too fast and then it's like the line is like i want you to slow it down and speed it up like a spaceship it's like you know sl you know take your time but you know there's times when you might want to speed it up and you know slow it back down like but like i say you can interpret whatever you want to interpret <laughs> I really like the song though. Like, like I said, I feel like Twice is being, you know, let free. Like you saw it in the top that top choreo. There was some moves that I was like, okay, <laughs> okay. You know, they had some pants on, some sweats that said something. There's something like juicy on. I'm like, oh, okay. Let, let's just move on to the next song. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> juicy. <laughs> Trouble. Oh my god, I swear Chaeyoung, cause I swear on these B-sides, Chaeyoung and Dayoung always impress me with the rap, like, I'm gonna pause it here, but for this song, I was kind of getting a bit lost, like, I feel like, with the lyrics that is, not with the song, I like the vocals, I like the rap, I was saying earlier, like, I like that Dayoung and Chaeyoung, um, so far it's been Chaeyoung, like, in my opinion, that's been getting, like, like these fire rap parts and every time twice comes back with something i've noticed like title tracks they kind of just let kind of tone you know tone them down like they're kind of like um a like you know 
don't go too hard. Like, yeah, and I really like it. The tro the lyrics I, I I'm just not following. <laughs> ba- it's a baby T W I C E like the baby toys. I I I just like the song though. Here we got three tunes though. Like my favorite part was the chain and rap part. Yeah, I like that. Like I said, I really like the um. I just really like the vocals and just. Like I said, the way Cheon just ate up the rap and just the, the beat. The lyrics I could not follow. I was confused, but that's fine. Like, the song sounds good. Um, I feel like, and and I won't lie, I feel like throughout all these songs, I feel like each member has had their time to shine. Maybe Dion, a little bit for me, has not been getting too many lines. It, feel, it feels like, for me, I feel like she's been kind of getting like the 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 like kind of you know catchier lines but not too many like throughout like there there hasn't been where i'm like okay she's shining right here like i feel like she hasn't gotten that many lines at all so moving on to the next song which is called i don't know brave see there we go like that was the line for diana right there like didn't feel like it was just part of anything else i'm gonna pause here but i feel like when they say they were trying to be my only believe agreement that made me run further. I feel like when they're talking about this person, it's like they're you know in love with this person. They can only have them. They're the one that makes them come alive. Like they even mention like when I'm next to you, I can breathe. Basically saying like when I, if you're not here, I can't breathe. I can't do any of these things unless I'm with you. Without you, I might as well just not be you know on. And so it's like I I feel like. The word, like the word brave is like maybe them taking on this relationship or taking on this adventure with this person and maybe like trusting them while also having them trust, while having this person trust, um, um, trust them, um, more, you know, like, like both, both parties basically. And, um, you know, it's just like, I like the line, like this scar hurts because of you so now i can only be with you is like maybe like like these sort of like moments that have happened that have you know kind of left the the scar on me now it's up to you to fix it and you know make sure you stay by me because it won't heal unless i'm with you basically i don't know maybe maybe someone else can explain it better to, I mean, explain your true meaning, because that's what I'm getting from it, but I am I just might be interpreting, I might just not be, I might have missed something, which is definitely I've missed something, but I really like the vocals in this, and I feel like in this song, Dion got, you know, a little bit more of her lines, like, there was an example of, like, where I mean, like, you know, Momo was singing, and then she'll come in with, like, a little bit of, like, you know, like, the kind of, like, the repeat part. And that's what I felt like she's been getting throughout these um, songs. It's like that kind of repetition part where it's like they repeat it and you know, a different member comes in to sing it. And I feel like she's been getting that. And through this song, she's gotten, you know, more lines. But I feel like it hasn't been as much as the other members still. So, like I said, hopefully they give her more lines. But here we got three, two, one, stuff. Yeah. I like this song. I like, I like this song. But if I had to say, out of my favorite like b-sides so far i think my favorite b-side hmm, it might be basic i think I, I think i like basics the most out of so far the b-sides talk like i always say talk that talk i'm not including it because it's the title but just the b-sides alone i i like basics i would have to do basics queen of hearts trouble and then brave i don't know it's just like brave i i like the feel and theme of it It was like something completely different like it felt i thought we were going to go on like more of an ocean but it felt like we were um flying and floating um but um yeah um let us move on to the next song which is called gone so here we go three two one let's go uh i feel like these about to be little oh maybe not sad songs of the because it's called gone that whole beginning just made me just, oh, I just, I felt it in my soul. 
Oh no 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 no! I, I just I literally just got goosebumps when she just said I'm gone. Like I I like this song because it's not all high. It's it started super low, like for a long time. To each member that came in was low in their deeper register, and I love that because I feel like we don't hear you know too many twice songs that start that low, or we hear these like deeper voices from twice and i love it wow like because you know sana has them deep vocals too um yeah, like she can get the low nose geo chewy i was not expecting chewy to go to those low nose mina can hit those like man i love this the twice is show still showcasing something new and different and it's just really dope the lyrics is like basically this person's going crazy and they're you know just being stupid and they basically have betrayed, you know, the other person's trust. And now all all the faith that I had in you is is fading away like fog. It's gone. It's gone. And then like you, now that I know, are gonna be faded like fog. It's gonna be you're gonna be gone and gone. Like I really like that. Um here we go. Three, two, one, seven. But now they're going crazy because now they find out. I like that. Oh yeah, that was now that might be my favorite song or favorite beat song. I don't know. They're all so good in their own like way and vocally. Like I like this song because it has a lot of low notes and a lot of like it's less you know, high notes. Which don't get me wrong, I like basic and it had like a lot of high notes. I like Trouble had some high notes. You know, and then some of the songs are in the middle too, like a lot of like just the middle ranges where it's kind of comfortable for them and it just sounds comfortable for them to sing. Like, I don't know. But let's move on to the last song, which is called When. Oh, let me see. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's see. I'm going to say When We Were Kids. Hmm. I'm going to pause it here. But, um, yeah, I like this song because it's just kind of talking about your childhood, how we were innocent minded, like kids that had no idea how big and how tough the world could be until you became an adult. And like, you wanted to become an adult so bad. Like sometimes you see adults and you're like, just think how invincible, like, you know, adults are like superheroes. They get through anything, any crisis. And I feel like that's, as a kid, sometimes you see that and be like, man, how how are we getting through this? How are you getting through this? Like, like you're you're cool, you're super you're like, you know, clum like we were clumsy, like just that and I like the lines like I wish I could go back and meet the younger me. Like I wish I could go back and meet the younger me and tell them, you know, how I'm doing and what is happening in their life right now and just tell them to, you know. Like I guess the one thing I would tell my younger self is that Try to do better and try to never give up. And when things get tough, just try try to just get through it the best that you can. Um, I guess I would tell my younger self as well is, if you're ever feeling any sort of way that isn't happy, it, you don't feel happy, you know, find someone to talk to that you trust and that will listen to you and you know, support you, give you the, like, proper, um, like, talking guidance, you know. Because for me right now, I feel like I, I have my family to talk to, but I feel like I can't really say a lot of things about how I feel to them. Not like I don't trust them, but it's just like, I feel like they don't, They don't say, they they don't, they don't, like, comfort me with the words that I guess I want to hear, maybe. I know, like, they, I know that it's, it's, like, hard, and they want to just say, like, oh, you can get through it and stuff, and that's what they say, is, like, get through it, you got this, it's, it's all right, it's going to be tough, but sometimes I just want them to just agree and just be like, yeah, it's hard, it's, it's all right, take a break, go do this, go, go do that, because... Like it, it's sometimes I just want to hear that, and I don't really get to hear that. 
too often or really get to hear it at all. So that's what I would just tell my younger self is to, you know, talk those emotions out more. Sorry for the like sad note, but uh, if you guys want to comment anything, I guess that's a good question. What what would you tell your younger self if you could go back to meet them? What would you tell them? So here we got three, two, one, stuff. Oh, Chewie ended it. That that gave me goosebumps just now with Chewie ending the song. Oh, like the Machne. <laughs> she's the youngest and like basically still like a kid. I, I like that. This has been a long journey through this album, but hey, uh, when you got to talk about a lot of good things with Twice, yeah, you just got to, you know, let out all your feelings and it's just, I guess it shows how much I really love Twice. Everything, like the, 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 I just love this album. This mini album was really dope. I really enjoyed it. Um, loved all the songs. I guess my favorite song it's between it's between gone and basics and like queen of hearts too like queen of hearts basics and gone are like the top three for me but then i like when we were kids it was like it just it has that feeling of like reminding me of my childhood too like when you listen to it and know like the title and everything it's just so good like this 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 like album had basically is like kind of getting your feelings out and telling that person how you feel and what the things that you want to say to them so yeah this was really dope and with that i'll see you guys in the next video